EW here. I want to talk a little bit about rifle bipods. I don't see too many videos about it. It's something that a lot of us use. It's something that everybody makes. Caldwell has one. Magpul has a pretty good one now. These Atlases, this is a copy, but Atlas is, you know, the big name, big dollars. Um, these are Harris's. Here's a couple of Harris's here. Here's, here's an old one I've had for since forever. I think I got this on a, a rifle I bought. Goodness, maybe the early 80s. <laughs> so it's been around and they're great. They're absolutely great. They all have little features, little better things, little worse things about each one. But I, I wanted to talk about them because I've been talking with CB Life and CB Life sent me out one to review. So I figured, why not get all of them out? We'll talk a little bit about bipods and uh, we'll take a look at what the CV Life offering is because it, it looks pretty good. So, you know, your basics are, they attach to the rifle in a couple of different ways. They offer you foldable option with usually some kind of extendable leg. Um, sometimes you have the availability to adjust unevenness. You know, like you want this one all the way out and you're on a side hill, you only want this one out a little bit. You know, these have a friction wheel on them, the Harris's, so you can uh, turn them out and turn the wheel and hold them, you know, on a on an angle. Pretty much, they all have some kind of adjustment in these ways. The Harris's are pretty light. They're aluminum, well-made. They've been around a long time. Their attachment is to a stud. Um, rifle sling stud and you pinch the back and then you've got a set screw here to adjust and pull it in and they got some leather to, to keep from marring your gun and you can still add a stud your sling can mount right here so you haven't lost your ability to put a sling on it and uh, that's pretty much you know that's pretty much the crux to this one this is a newer model of the exact same and they come in different lengths too this is just a newer model of the same exact thing they did make a couple of a couple of changes you know the foot is a little bigger um they changed the pad but basically it's it's the same they changed the feet on it but basically it's it's pretty similar this one here is probably from the 90s this one says harris 1a2 ultralight and this one oh it does harris 1a2 ultralight but it's a different stamping you see it in there i know there they are so they're they're pretty close and these are nice for on the bench i think these are nine inch i think is the size these are and it's pretty close to a standard of what everybody offers you know this one has a hole in the back i don't know what that was for it almost looks like it was drilled by somebody Maybe I drilled it at some point for some reason. But they're pretty much identical. And then I went and picked up the the bigger one when I started um, varmint hunting. This one is really nice for sitting. So if you're sitting up against the back against the tree, this one here gives you two extensions. So it gets you quite a bit of support on an angle it offers the ability to change the direction um change the you know the amount that comes out um the same feet as the better one and this one also has a feature that's adjustable for cant so it'll it'll allow you to cant the rifle a little bit and it's adjustable for here it has a stud in the back added for your sling but you still have the holes up here that you could put it up here here's your adjustment for tightening it down to the gun and it works on the same stud sling stud a little bit heavier what is this model called does it even say it on it it doesn't it's got a different back on it oh it says it back here let's see what does it say back here harris s25 c Oh, it's a little bigger one and these these have gone up in cost 
uh, considerably from when I first bought them, but they're nowhere near what the Atlas, the original, the real Atlas C10 or something it's called cost. This, this is a Chinese knockoff and I bought it before I realized it was a knockoff. So I paid too much money for it. It was back in the earlier days of eBay and when they first started bringing the Chinese stuff in and hiding it. Today, the Chinese copies are everywhere, but they they tell you they're Chinese copies most of the time. So what you're buying is a lower cost, lower quality alternative that may be enough, may be good enough for your purposes. And it'll save you the silly money that this thing costs new. Now this, I paid a couple hundred bucks for this. And today it's like 60 bucks or 80 bucks or something, which is really all it's worth. Maybe it wasn't that much. Maybe it was a hundred and something. But anyway, I paid too much for it. Um, it does have the three adjustments. It is pretty solid. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, the clamp, it uses it uses a uh, pick rail. So you're going to have to have a pick rail on your firearm. So it's more tailored towards the... Uh, I was going to say combat <laughs> the tactical stuff so the ars and uh you know the prs rifles that the guys are souping up with with uh, chassis and things like that have that have flats and stuff on them but your your deer rifle probably isn't going to have provisions to uh to accept a a pick rail on the front to be able to use this so i don't know if there's a conversion from this to be able to grab a pick rail but there is conversions from a pick rail to a stud. And I should have brought it out. I do have one and it's not on a gun right now, but uh, it does lock, which is, which is nice. So it comes all the way down. And actually I've got it set a little bit tight because it's clamping on itself. And I'll show you how it adjusts. You just push the, push the pin in so that this stud comes out the other side and you just turn the stud. To adjust and then it drops in i'm just having trouble because i got because i'm on camera really that's the really the only reason i'm having troubles okay now let's see what we got there now this clamps okay that's better it was clamping beyond what it needed to and uh this it does tip a little bit but when you clamp this down you, you lose a lot of your tipping. And this being a copy is probably why. Um, it doesn't clamp down hard as I'd like it to, to not move. It's not bad, but it's not great. You can change out the feet. You just poke a little pin in there and it, this comes off. I don't think there's a foot in there. I have something here small that I can poke that with. No, it requires more than you just poke that in and the foot comes out. But it also has adjustment for length. So it has a stops. So they fall, the ball bearings fall in. And it's pretty positive and pretty solid. And that's the last one. And they both do the same thing. And this one gives you a forward rake if you want it. It doesn't work with this turn sideways, though. It does give you a forward rake if you want it on your gun, for the forward or rearward, if that's more to your liking, or straight up and down. So th this works really well. Um, I use this. I used this mostly on the ARs because. The time I didn't have any rifles that had a pick rail on them that that I would use this on. So there you go. There's there's the, the four that I have. Let's take a look at this CV Life and compare it to the others because it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's lightweight. Comes with an Allen wrench, your instruction manual, which is just a couple pages. Got just a couple pages showing you the. 
the names of things and how to adjust your clamp on your on your pick rail, how your feet adjust, the length of the legs, and yada yada yada. Just common sense stuff. Um, it weighs 0.9 pounds. The leg length is 8.3 to 11.4. Um, but leg height and vertical height, 7.9 to 10.6. I don't understand why they're different, but it's aluminum alloy and high quality plastic materials. And they're really, CB Life is really stepping up their game. They're making some pretty nice stuff. I was pretty impressed with a, a couple of their products. And, uh, my buddy Nibs over there has been checking out their scopes and they look really good. I was hoping to get a scope, but they were out of stock with the one that they, they had offered me. So maybe down the road, I'll be able to get something else in here. So you see right away, it's, it's similar to this Atlas in the clamp, in the design of the foot, design of the wheel, the head, where this one is metal, this one is that high, high pressure plastic. And you can tell by looking at it, it's, it's not just cheap plastic. It's pretty heavy duty stuff. And one other nice thing, the, uh, this locks, you have to push the button to lock, to get it into any position that it goes in. This one here will deploy just like that, but then it locks. So when it's in position that you're using it, it locks. But to get it out there, you just pull it out. So, you know, you may say, well, what's going to happen? It's going to fall. It's going to open up by itself. It does have a detent there, and it is pretty positive not to go anywhere. So time will tell if it's, if it's actually going to droop on its own. But it will go all the way back or all the way front, and it just locks straight down. The leg adjustment is a push button back here, and it gives you repeatable T settings. And it looks like it's got a, like a pick rail style cleat on the back side that it engages. Now this is aluminum and this is plastic. I don't know what the latch is. You can't see it inside, but it's very positive. I mean, it's very, very positive. The feet are soft rubber and it looks like they are replaceable as well. There's a little push button there uh, on both sides. I don't know if they offer spikes like the, uh, like the Atlas does. And uh, I don't see any tipping. You know, it does it when it's loose like the, the Atlas does, but once you tighten it down, it's rigid. So I'm thinking that, uh, I'm thinking that this tipping is just because it was loose and the same thing is over here. Now this is a more conventional latch that we're used to seeing on, you know, quick release rings and such because it, uh, it just works with a thumb screw and it's got like a flat. So it's just a cam over, snap, and it closes. So it's pretty rigid to hold on there. Um, what I found when I had it on a gun is I even needed to extend the leg to be able to flip this over because it was it was pretty tight. It does have springs in there to pop open. It does snap on pretty good. It's got a good size lug in there. And it's got a piece of brass or brass looking material under the ledge. So if you know anything about brass, it's self-lubricating. So that's going to act as a as a camming lever where these where these sides come over. It'll make it a little bit easier in the long term. Um, a lot of the cheaper ones you'll see they'll just leave it on the aluminum, and aluminum on aluminum under pressure will gall, and it actually grabs and rips and tears the metal from the friction. When you have a piece of brass in there, it will never do that. The brass is always a little bit of a lubrication to it, and it'll slide on most any metal because it's pretty soft. Um, so there you go. So let's get this to the range. I've got a couple of things I need to do, and I've got a couple of rifles that this will work on. I have a test coming up with some specialty ammo that I loaded up for the 350 Legend, and I think we're going to use this bipod on the rifle for that test, and we'll see how it works. But I know it's going to be beautiful. It's there's not much to it. Um, it's solid. It mounts solidly. The clamp works really good. The adjustment lets you tip and turn and, and change. And it does have it does have stops, which I didn't mention. So you can turn it a little bit. And it's got like uh, um, notches or something in there. You can you can 
feel them. Let's see if I can make it do it. So they're straight. It locks in. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just depressing it against the spring as it would be when you tighten the thing down, the, the, the thumb screw down, to show you the stops that it has. So you can still clear it. It spins freely. You put a little bit of pressure on it, and you can feel the gear teeth that are in there for the different positions so that when it locks down, it's not relying completely upon pressure, thumb, thumb screw pressure. So it's going to be a lot more solid. Actually, let me do it this way because this is the way it fits in the package better. This uh, clamp sticks out the front. This one here, the Atlas Copy, relies to totally, completely on the pressure you can put on here. And I don't like it because of that. You tighten this down and it'll loosen. You know, you tighten this down snug and you can, you can break it loose. See? That, that's snug and i just turn this head and it breaks it loose so again this is a, a chinese copy and this is an early cheap chinese copy of an atlas so because of that i i kind of never use this very much i paid too much for it and kind of don't like to admit it and it's kind of a sore spot that that i got suckered but it was back in the day when you couldn't do much about it ebay wouldn't st wouldn't stand behind you they were it was a different place. So here it is. It's a good comparison. It's not as good a bipod. This is a better bipod than that is. The only thing this has got going for it is it's all metal. You know, everything is metal. Where this has got some plastic on it. But plastic is going to save you weight. It's high pressure, high strength, high tinsel, you know, durable material. And uh, I think it's going to hold up every bit as well. And I like the, the ratchet head. A lot better than this atlas copy i don't have an atlas to compare to see if the real atlas did the same thing because you know this is a cheap chinese copy but uh i'll bet you that it's pretty close just better quality so there we go we'll close this out we'll get back on the range check out these cv life products they're uh they're pretty neat they're not what they uh the cheap chinese junk that you you might think um, they are, or once, they, uh, they're a nice product. Um, again, they sent this out for free, so I didn't pay anything for it. But uh, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. I'm not going to like it just because I got it for nothing. If it gives me a problem, you'll know about it. But everything I see here, comparing it to other products, I like what I see. All right, everybody. God bless. Check it out on the range. I'll let you know, highlight it when I get out there. God bless. CW out.